Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Fudge Knight Ray and today I will be doing my first ever voiceover. And please forgive me, um, this mic is awful, I bought it for like $20. Um, but uh, so, a quick little intro on me I guess. I've always wanted to become a speed paint YouTuber slash art commentary YouTuber, um, but I really never had the drive or motivation to do so. I always got anxious thinking about recording because <laughs> I really don't like people seeing my art process. It's just, I don't know, it's a little nerve-wracking for me. Um, but I thought about it some more. I was like, I really want to do this. And I got some encouragement from my friends and family. And if they could believe in me, why can't I believe in myself? So I just started doing it. Um, and I thought the perfect place to start would be for this 26 favorite character challenge thing. Um, I saw it on Twitter. It was along the format of for every like I get, I'll post a picture of my favorite character from A to Z, but I have no followers, so I just decided that I was going to draw them whenever I felt like it. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any recordings for characters A through F, but I will have a quick little slideshow of them coming up real quick. And here we have our first character, Ahsoka Tano. She's from Star Wars The Clone Wars, a very surprisingly beautiful Star Wars cartoon show. I highly recommend watching it. The character development and growth is insane. Um, that's why I love Ahsoka. And here is Bucciarati from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 specifically. I just love him. He's like the teen mom and I have a soft spot for male wives and the such. Um, I just really love him a lot. Uh, and then next is Celeste from Danganronpa. Uh, I just love her character design. I think her character motivations were funny and she's just a girl boss and I love her and I would like to hold her hand maybe. Um, next is Dimitri from Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am a huge Fire Emblem fan and Three Houses just blew me away. I haven't done the other routes, don't fight me, but I just, I'm loyal to my Blue Lions. I just love them a lot. And next is a bit of an unconventional choice since it's a Warrior of Light from Final Fantasy XIV. My twins, Warrior of Light specifically. Um, his name is Avanotia, and everyone sims him, and you will be next. You have no choice in the matter. And then, last but not least, Faye from Xenogears. Xenogears is a trip of a game, and I recommend that everyone who loves existential RPGs to go play it. And Faye, he's just he's just a boy and I love him. Um and that's it for the characters that I wasn't able to get a recording of. Um I really wish I did record those, but you know, I, I have the slideshow here. Um let's see. Anyway that was an excuse to cover up this horrible birdcage nonsense that I have going on here, um, which you'll see has been conspicuously altered by the end of the video. Um, I tried to incorporate, you know, some some type of imagery, the same one that Mochizuki uses, um, which if you didn't know is the author of the manga that this lovely man, Gilbert, is from. Manga, oh my god. <laughs> manga that Gilbert Knight Ray is from. It's called Pandora Hearts. Uh, I'm absolutely in love with Mochizuki's work. She is a queen. She is unlike any other manga artist that I've ever um, had the pleasure of being inspired by. And she had delivered upon us the most greatest man in all of media. I have such a huge, huge undying crush on Gilbert. It's insane. I love this man. He's such a homie. He's like, he's loyal, he's determined to a fault, he's really hot, and that's all you need to know about him, honestly. He's just a really great guy. I don't know what else to say. I'm not really good at putting things into words or anything like that. <laughs> but, uh, this picture, it gave me a little bit of issue. I, as you can see with the previous images, I tried to do something a little different for each one. Um, in this one, I wanted to go a little bit more all out, you know, give a, a nice little background, show my influences through 
like the color palette and composition I'm not sure how many can pick up on that well I don't have any reference images to show uh, but I try to you know some things that Gilbert's associated with he most likely will have a cigarette in his mouth um, the bird cage was supposed to be a reference to uh, his ability to summon a creature called the chain and his chain is called Raven um, I don't draw animals that well so I just left the bird cage there for symbolism purposes um, and normally when Mochizuki draws this character there's a lot of blues in the color scheme so I thought I could stick to that um, I don't know I didn't do it yet but I thought that his face was a little bit too blue so I changed that later on in this meat paint but we'll wait when we get there and as for his outfit uh, Mochizuki takes a lot of inspiration from like old Victorian styles and I didn't want to use an outfit that she had done already so I did some googling and I tried to find um, an outfit that I could use to inspire this piece and I found one don't know where it is maybe I'll find it and post it later I don't know but this material that his shirt is made out of I believe it's called tool I was having a very hard time trying to make it look like it was because it's a very sheer like see-through fabric um, I'm not sure how well I communicated that I tried to make it look like like the layers that are over top of each other I tried to make that darker so you could really feel how transparent it is not sure how well it came across it kind of looks a little dirty but this will be a learning experience that I will use for later on um, another thing that Mochizuki loves is her ruffles I tried to put some ruffles around his neck they don't look as full as I would like them to be but that's something that I can improve upon later and these gold accents that I have in this outfit, I wanted it, I wanted them to pop a bit. Uh, metal is not my strong suit, but I think I kind of did okay with this necklace choker thing he has going on. Um, yeah. Don't really know what else to say around here. The coloring process was pretty fun. I tried to do this very quickly because I realized that. Um, my G character, like the character whose name begins with the letter G, was coming up really soon. And Gilbert's birthday is also coming up. It should be today, hopefully. This video comes out um, either on the 4th or the 5th. Um, his birthday is the 5th, but in Japan it's already the 5th. Hopefully I won't be too late for that. And I think the medal came out pretty good. It's hard to find references for specific shapes especially when you've made them up so I had to try and figure out how would the light hit it at this angle and I'm not sure if I'm right but it looks decent enough so we're gonna go with it when it comes to coloring or just drawing in general honestly my favorite part of the body to do I love to color the hair and I love drawing hands I might not be great at it but I really do love figuring out how a hand you know is shaped and how you, how easily a hand can be manipulated it's a very expressive part of the body in my opinion so I like to make sure that I make them look right and I gave him leather gloves because they're really hot but I I was having I feel like this glove came out pretty well this one right here though as you will see very soon was giving me some difficulty I couldn't figure out how the light was going to hit it and that's mostly a problem of not having a you know like a little light source to let you know where the lights coming from but I looked up a reference and it wasn't the exact angle that I needed but I kind of just like looked at it and saw where the light was basically falling at and tried to replicate that to the best of my ability and as you can see here I was having a little breakdown <laughs> not knowing um, what on earth I was doing but uh, it comes together pretty nicely in the end I think um, I'm a big fan of like a, the painter texture style. Personally, when I draw, I normally do just like a like a painter style. I don't really do line art. Um, originally, it was going to be line art so I can get this done as quickly as possible, because painting over line work takes a lot of time. But I uh, kind of backpedaled and painted a little bit anyway. And another thing that I love coloring is wrinkles. I don't know why, but wrinkles 
I just, I don't know, there's just something really fun about coloring in shadows and seeing how they interact with each other. I think it's the same reason why I like to color hair so much. I just feel like they, it just flows really well to me. Like each wrinkle, you know, it just kind of blends into the next. And as you can see here, I have transitioned to Clip Studio Paint. Um, I didn't record the earlier part of this, but the only thing you missed was me just blasting some colors in the background. I also changed Gilbert's skin tone to be a little bit more lighter um, and not m mash up with all the blues and stuff. Um, and this background kind of happened on accident. I uh, was just trying to get like some, some little splotches of blue and then some little random paint strands started looking like flowers and I was like okay let me just try and dabble in some flowers in there and I think it came out pretty nice um I was inspired by lots of Mochizuki's artwork um I just love I just I just love her so much her art is honestly like it's so amazing um the smoke has made a brief reappearance but it will not come back uh I gave him a little halo behind his head because he's perfect um, and I didn't show this on screen, but I was debating the color for like the name at the top. I went through white, which would have been nice, I think. But I feel like there's so much white in the image anyway. I just stuck with black. I even tried gold, but that didn't look well with the blue in the background. Um, and I'm coloring... I think I'm just doing some color value changes here. And so right here, I wanted to keep the wrinkles in the cloth here but it was like cut off which I thought was like a weird decision for me to do so as you as you see here I'm erasing the bottom part so that it can just flow down to the bottom of the canvas rather than just being cut off because it, I don't know it just didn't look right like that and I'm glad I caught myself because that would have looked awful if I kept it the way that it did um, and I go back to the liner layer and try to blend it in so it can be a little bit of more of a seamless transition with the the blending and the wrinkles and the shading um, so I go in and I clean some more of that and soon you will see me attempt to color this monstrosity of a birdcage back here and as you will soon see I promptly gave up <laughs> um, I just couldn't handle it so uh, I'm pretty sure I went to go get some dinner and I went back and went over it again with paint tool sigh and that's the end of that uh, I think I did some more adjustments on the background as well it's hard to really see but um that birdcage was giving me such a hard time I didn't want to fool with it anymore but uh that's it for my first video I've never done anything like this before I'm pretty nervous as you can probably tell and this is the first time I've ever edited a video before um, so hopefully I've done a good enough job for my first attempt and I can only go uphill from here so thank you everyone who decided to watch all the way I love you and I should be back with some more of my favorite characters and maybe I'll talk about them more than I did in this one because this was a little bit more of an introduction. Um, and if you're still here, please read Pandora Hearts. This is an order. You have no say in this. Have a good day!